Hello and welcome to another video about how to invest in carbon, where we're going to look at carbon companies, companies that invest in carbon offsets and carbon credits. Today we're going to talk about Dutch Green Business. The ticker is DGB. I'm going to put the links um, in the description of the video so you can check it out for yourself. I must also disclaim that this is no financial advice. Do your own research. Don't buy any stocks or anything that you see in videos like this. Do your own research. You will thank me later. So again, why are we investing in carbon? The thesis has been laid out in many videos before. The world wants to get carbon neutral and prices of carbon are expected to rise. And I'm seeing more and more companies that are investing in the space. And so the sector is growing rapidly and it's quite a new sector. So, and so I think this will develop very quickly. First of all, guys, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. This will help out this channel grow. If you like the content, I would be very thankful. And let's continue with the video. Dutch Green Business recently came out with the first half year report of 2021 in English language before there was only uh, available in Dutch language. So this is the first material that we get in the English language. These are the interim results for 2021. So what does Dutch Green do? Their business model is basically they create uh, carbon offsets with uh, planting trees. So I think most of them are REDD+. Plus. They fund the mechanisms um, by which carbon offsets are created and develop it with other project developers. So they're kind of a project developer in some sense. Project developer, project investor. And as you can see on their website, they are also selling the offsets directly. So you as a private customer can plant trees and buy carbon offsets. So they have a B2C component and also a B2B component to the business. So again, as many, they lay out this thesis for rising prices in carbon credits, that carbon offsets are undervalued, that the price will go up. So that's basically the, the thesis for all of these companies. Well, you know, this is, this is their argument why they should, why you should buy their company, because they're gonna create offsets and the offsets are gonna rise in price. One interesting thing is that they're also investing in new technology, new advanced technology. They bought a big stake in the company Statics AI. Um, unfortunately, as the time of this video, when you go on their website, you will not see anything. There's an error loading and they're promising to use artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, which I think is kind of a bit all over the place. You know, they, they're not really specifying what they're going to do with it a, a bit but you know i mean this, these are kind of words that i get thrown out there on the regular you know we use this kind of blockchain ai these are search words which make everything look super good so i'm a bit skeptical here that <clears throat> they're going to deliver everything that they promise here because i mean at the moment there's not much there and also you i think they should focus on one thing at a time but maybe i'm also misleading here yeah, again, neural networks, blockchain technology, immutable ledger technology, and the marketplace. So they have a big plans for the future, what they want to do. We will see if they can do it all. So they're investing in nature-based solution, which is conservation, afforestation, reforestation, agroforestry, basically all things to do with trees, which is very developed uh, niche of the carbon credit market, where there's a lot of projects already there. And they're going to get credits by protecting uh, trees and managing them and planting them. So quite an established market, I would say, quite an established niche from what I can gather. Um, nothing really, really super new, but maybe with the rising prices in carbon, potentially rising prices in carbon, still a very good business model. So they have a lot of projects in the pipeline, as they say. They have nine projects in 10 different locations. From what I can gather, the only functioning project today is the Sierra Leone project. Um, the Paraguay project seems to be going well, but they don't offer any specifics. So they have projects planned in Tanzania, Malaysia, Philippines, Kenya, Cameroon, Australia, Romania, Uganda. But what I think is very odd, when you look at the projects on their website, you can see the Sierra Leone project where you can read the details. This project offers about 55,000 tons of CO2 stored. 
Then you can also click on a Paraguay project, but on the website, there is something odd. There is just no product details. They have forgotten to fill in the blanks of their, of their project. So we cannot gather how many carbon offsets they, are, they create with this project. And I think, I mean, in general, this website looks good, but not a lot of details right here. And the other projects are non-existent on the website. If you click on the other projects, then it just takes you back to the main page of the projects page. So no details on the other project, not even a tiny bit. Maybe this is an administrative error on their part, but I think this is still a bit odd. Please DGB, fix your, fix your website because this is a strange and we want details. One other thing I found that is very odd. And I mean, they seem to be going into social media very hard, but they have an Instagram account and they have 201K followers. So I was like, okay, this is a lot of followers. Interesting. But when you look at the pictures, there's only like 13 likes or something. So, I mean, I'm not an expert expert on social media, but I do a lot of social media in my, my job. These are bot followers. You know, this, this, this wants, they want to create the image that they are followed by many people. I don't know which, why this would be necessary. I think this is very unnecessary, but I mean, I'm quite skeptical here. Why would you spend money on followers of social media? This is, this is odd. So this is really an odd uh, phenomenon. When we look at the financial statement, uh, we can see that they have created a loss for the year 2021, which is maybe not surprising because they're just only getting started investing in projects. I think this will get better, but uh, you never want to see another loss on the income statement. The person I communicated with in this company told me that they're just beginning to sell the offsets, but with no specific number of offsets that they generate each year, a loss in the period. I'm a bit skeptical here. I, I think I'm going to wait on this, this company. I want to see what they're doing. I want to see if they fix their issues. I don't want, I want them, them to explain why they buy social media followers. What purpose does this serve? So I'm going to watch this company. I think it's very interesting because it's a public company that invests in carbon. But at the moment, I'm not convinced. If we look at the stock price at the time of this video, it's about 1.17 euros per share with about 11 million shares outstanding. This is about 11, 12 million euros valuation. So for the highlights of their financial report, they have partnered with Cadriz for the Paraguay project. They work together with South Pole, which is a big name in the carbon credit industry for the Sierra Leone project. So they're working with, with partners, but this doesn't mean that much, I think. Like I said, they have acquired a 75% stake in Statics Artificial Intelligence, which is good, trying to use new technology, trying to get an edge on the market. But I still think this is this has a way to go, as I cannot see any as I cannot see anything from Statics on their website, so I don't really know what they're doing and how far they are. They have six million euros in private placement, so they are funded. They have connection to money, which is good. So they have a fifty percent stake in green fuel investments. This will help them with the planting of the trees, as far as I see it, uh, which is also good. And they have appointed Nigel Farage to the Dutch Greens Advisory Board. I don't think that says much at this moment. So like I said, I'm going to wait out a bit for this company, what, they, what they're showing, how the projects are coming along. I think at the moment they have a very nice presentation, a very nice website, a good social media presence, but not a lot to show for. So I'm going to wait for more details on the upcoming project. I'll keep you guys updated. I want to know also what you guys think about this company, DGB, Dutch Green Business Group. Let me know in the comment section. If you have enjoyed videos like this and if you want me to make more videos about companies, then like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can post questions in the comments. You can post suggestions in the comments. I'm grateful for that. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.